opening directory. Please. Please hold. Hi. I was calling to see if I can um, make an appointment to pick up my car. After failing to pay back her title loan on time, uh, Anna's car is repossessed. From Santa Clarita? Uh, to get it back, she'll have to cash in her $900 disability check. Okay. Nearly her entire income for the month and borrow another $100 from friends. Hi. Yeah, I just need to pick up my car. Your car? Yeah. It's been a very difficult three days. I'm trying not to cry because I've had to lie to my daughter and tell her that my car has been at the mechanics when I know that it was taken away. Our home has been taken away. So um, I'm glad that it was done on the weekend and she had somewhere she could stay and not when she had to be at school. Um, but we're here and we're gonna get our house back for now. <laughs> it's my car. <laughs> oh God. Before she lost her apartment, Anna was one of the 44% of Americans who are just one $400 emergency away from financial ruin. Feel good to have your car back? I mean, it still hasn't hit me yet. Tomorrow, I have no idea where I'm going to be, what I'm going to do. Did you, um, did you ever think that you could be homeless and living out of your vehicle? No, not at all. But it can happen to anybody. It, it really can. <clears throat> do I wish this for anybody? I don't. I don't wish it for anybody. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I don't wish it for anybody because it's stressful. And I don't wish it for any children because it's not a good way for them to have to live their life. Sometimes I feel like I failed as a mother.